Yeah. Like, he, 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 he is a master at clickbait. You said what? Could you He's say clickbait? Master at I'm still looking at the stuff that came out for like the part of the right. That's lit the sound yes. effect is like you leaving the call and dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh I'll jump online in a second. I'm trying to get the uh, gold paint job for the cup races. I'm just about to finish this cup. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe I should try and attempt to get the Platinum Relic paint job in the PS4 version. Hmm. I, think gold, I think the gold is as high as I'm willing to go. Yeah, I mean, I just... I mean, I already had the fucking Sapphire one. I don't know why. Like, go through Adventure Mode on CTR, they award you shit that you already have. Yeah. But, um, I got the Sapphire one. It's the lowest I have. Because doing relic races, I don't really give a fuck. Like, I just get them because I have to. So as long as I get the Sapphire time, I don't care. That is relics in a nutshell for me. And no matter the game. The only exception is... Honestly, Nitro Field and Crash 3. Crash 3, there's like a whole gem to collect from getting gold or higher. Yeah, and I Nitro that. Field, I believe if you have Golden Hire, you can get that Travis Touchdown looking Oxide skin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that one you just buy, though, I think. No, no. It's... You sure? I don't remember, like, ever seeing anything about... Because I think I have all of Oxide's outfits, unless it just doesn't show up. Well, then again, it should, because it'll tell you, like, what to do to get it. Yeah. Well, I'll look. But either way, like, I think, um, what was I talking about before this? Yeah, the Partner Direct, like, Epic Mickey seems to be the biggest hype thing that got announced. World of Goo 2, I guess, for people that liked it on WiiWare. I really want to try Penny's Big Breakaway, just because of yeah. the... Yeah, Hot Rod nit Nitrous Oxide is achieve 101% progression, and that is yeah. getting gold and higher. I don't know if I have that one on this. Let me check. Alright, I just finished the cup. Star Wars Battlefront collection, Classic Collection seems cool. I mean, I still want to try it out on Steam, <clears> like, at a late point. You know what's yeah, funny? It's that, like... Yeah, I wouldn't be. I'd be down. I, I, 2024 has been the. Uh, my friends are getting me into games I would never think about getting. Like, first Fair. it was Baldur's Gate 3, then it was Pal World. Now it's Hell Divers 2. <laughs> and it has. Did and you, we're just. And we're only wrapping up the second month. Did you, did you not play Battlefront 2 back in the day? No. Oh, uh, okay. I played Battlefront 2 with you and Nick for like a match or two. I never. Oh, did. that's right, we did do that. I never did it either. I mean, I just knew the game existed, and I knew there was a lot of praise around it. But that's it. It's fun. Yeah, I'm excited for it to just try it out. Yeah. Let me see. Do I have this oxide thing? I do. I do. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't have it. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that this was even a fucking thing. I thought you just buy this. I mean, I think it's part nope. of, like, the Oxide Edition, but, like, if you want to but get it legitimately, you have to 101% the game. Oof. Well, gives me a That means getting all the golds. Gives me a reason to replay the game, I guess, or do Adventure Mode again. <laughs> you thought you were done? Nah. No, you're never done. I mean, I did say I wanted to unlock all the characters, like, skins and everything to say, like, I did it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I don't use every fucking character. Is the room open yet or no? Yeah, the room's open. Yeah, we're, we're in a room. All right, cool. I'm coming. Um, I remember fucking, uh, was it John or was it you that we played Nitro Fueled on PC through Me. like a an emulator? Me. Yeah. That was interesting because like you got a 100% save file and you got access to shit that I will never get. Dude, that the work it took for me to get that fucking save file and everything fucking working was hell. <laughs> like, like, cause you I imagine finding, finding switch ROMs is hard. 
Like, especially yeah. like with the latest update and everything, and then getting the settings right so it doesn't lag. Like, fuck, that shit was dummy hard. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a Sean. I will not re hit start until I see both check marks. Noted. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use characters to get their skins. Um. Then go off of that. Part of me wants. I want to take the time to put together a wheel of like not only every character but also their cost costumes or color skins. I feel like that there's a crash team racing natural food generator. Like to do that. Let me. Let me see. Crash team racing natural fuel character generator. Did you have AI on? Huh? Did you have AI on? I don't remember. Because that's, I think that I, might have been I, what, I, mean, I, I usually time. have it off, so. We should be fine, I think. Nitro Field isn't as popular as Ultimate, <laughs> so. Uh, well. Oh, for the there. poll? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not I mean, the poll. It's. It. Well, not the poll. Oh. Well, me and Noah still here, I guess. Well, I'm awkward. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, but uh, yeah, the AI is on. Yeah, Make sure do it. Well, maybe it's because the AI was Wait, on. He couldn't get in. Yeah, no, I think because uh, we had the AI off the whole time last time and it worked flawlessly. Let me see, what yeah. do we wheel to side? Yeah, but right. like, like, I have so many different characters that I play as, let alone their variants. Let me know what's so back up. I'm, I'm totally going to do it by... I'll probably do it on my own time. I'm making one right now. Um, a little you know spinner? What? Mm -hmm. We can do, we I mean, do some ba battles too. I'm down for that. Oh, yeah, fuck. we talked about how we don't do battles. We, we don't. We don't do. Yeah, we don't do battles. That'd be fun. Yeah, let's, let's do a few battles anyway. before we race the night away. I'm down. All for right. It. Uh, let me know when it's open. Still, I'm still just making a stain. It, it, yeah, it's still open. Oh no, I don't want to make my own room. Fuck that. I want to walk <laughs> to my friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the best one? It's Limit Battle, right? Basically, Balloon Battle? Uh, limit Battle... Let's see. Set a time or point limit. The first person to reach the point limit or with the most points at the time winner wins. Uh, we have Lives. That's Balloon Battle. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, one of them is kind of like... I don't know why I think of TMNT Smash Up. Because I think there was a mode on there that I play where you just get the most KOs and then you win. No teams, no AI. We're doing this classic. Power ups. We'll keep them all. How many battle modes we got? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We also got the nitro field, the nitro coat ones. Uh, let's do. Oh wow! I think they actually made new battle arenas for. No, they didn't. It should be yeah. just the CTR ones and Nitro Kart ones. Yeah, no, but here's the thing, though. It's like, they they sort the two from, like, CTR and Nitro Field. I remember there being only four battle mode arenas in CTR. I never heard oh. of Lab Basement, Rampage oh, you, Ruins, you have to unlock and those. the North Bowl. Yeah, no, those are, those are, nope. uh, those are in the game. Dude, oh, I unlock those from, uh... Shit. <laughs> I think Shit. it's gym races. That, that, you them from that the gym. fucking... Yes. yes, you do. That fucking, that fucking shows how much I didn't play battle mode. <laughs> oh, no, you don't do it from the gym races. You do it from the cup races. Okay. Yeah, I know you... Yeah, like, because I, I know I had them when I played. I, yeah. I, I've, I've, I remember the, the, the engine one, at least. OG... The OG on the PS1, you could put in cheat codes to unlock them, too. Damn, um, I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't All have right, any we'll... friends to play battle with, so. Right, I think my dad and I played battle a little bit. 
So for battle mode, we'll say the first to three wins, and then we'll move to races. Okay. Sure. First to, like, what is this? Is this battle, or is this, like, getting the most points? This is this is balloon battle, basically. Okay, cool. cool you have cool. three lives. I'm still making this fucking pain. It's a lot of fucking characters that I know just by heart. <laughs> Coco, Baby T, the third one, Spyro, God, I don't think I've ever seen Battle Mode before. Except for one, I, except I, for one map. I, I haven't remember one map. I've never been on this map before. For I mean, the crystal challenges. Oh yeah, true. Sure. Let's see how much fun we have with this thing. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! <laughs> I, I see. I just see you two chasing each other. I'm not chasing anybody. Oh shit! Oh, you're chasing me, you motherfucker! Oh fuck! Oh shit! <laughs> That's not gonna do anything! Haha, <laughs> you Fuck. fucking wish, you fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Son. Oh, he got you already? Yeah, I was dead before, yeah. Jesus, you get a lot for just doing battle. I mean, I don't hey, care about the hey, Wampa coins anymore, but still. No, you don't. <laughs> That's a measly 150, sir. And that includes That's all 200. the multipliers. That's 200. Measly 150? <laughs> yeah, 150 doesn't for, for, for the times 2 and times 5 multiplier? That's fucking chump change. <laughs> the name of the fucking moose that was in the Christmas pack? Hasty. Okay. I rarely use him. I was, I'm making this list and I'm remembering everyone by heart and I'm like, what the fuck was his name? I think since I'm doing battle I'll use turn. Never use fucking turn. What was it? Chick, Stew, Hasty, um, Yaya, Panda, Fake real roots. Then there was <clears throat> Mega Mix. Oh no 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 no! Claw Kong, Von Clutch, Pasadena, Mega Mix. Who was the next one? Assistant box. Unironically, I love the box. <laughs> Fuck. 
Though I don't remember this power up too, because it only exists in battle. Oh, the disappearing thing? Yeah. Is it basically ghetto boo except you don't steal shit? Yes. Kind of, yeah. You just don't get noticed. Yeah, and unlike the original, you have your own screen so you can't screen watch. Yeah. Dude, battle and CTR just used to be such so taboo. Only because one, I didn't have a fucking multi tab growing up, and even if I had another person, like, I wouldn't want to do battle with two people. Oh, yeah. Boy. Now, that's understandable, honestly. Like, battle was so taboo. I think I did battle a couple times with my dad. <clears throat> I played battle with some of <gasps> my, uh... Some relatives, but never had a multi-tab. The only time I ever played with a multi-tab, it was all racing. Dude, Bitch, I just started! Today. Holy shit! Give me two hits in a row, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Fuck you guys. <laughs> That's how you really feel fucking. I did. So <laughs> probably the only time I'll ever use turn as a drifting style. Oh my fuck! It's just. Yeah, 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 I'm not first out. Point. Shitter. Where'd you go, bitch? Right behind you. Oh, thanks, snitch. <laughs> You're welcome, bitch. I know the dead could really talk like that. <laughs> thanks, snitch. You're welcome, bitch. <laughs> hey, look, unlike Riley, I'm not letting anybody steal my bike. <laughs> Motherfuck! <laughs> I have no idea how many hits you're on. Oh, fuck. Nope! Motherfuck! Ah, let's go! Let's go. Was there any... What Was this DLC before, like, Mega Mix? Or after Mega Mix? Or was it just yeah. Velo after him? Uh, it was Velo after him. Okay. I don't think I'm missing any DLC characters. Let's see. Tana, Amy, Megumi, Isabel, Liz, Baby Crash, Baby Coco, Baby T, Spiral Hunter, Nasty Nork, Nina, Mo, Brio, Chick Stu, Hasty, Yaya, Fake Rillaroo, Qualcomm, Von Clutch, Pasadena, Mega Mix, Rillaroo, Velo, Lab Assistant, Box, Baby Cortex. Box. Baby and trophy. I don't even get anything for battles anyway. I can pick whatever the fuck I want. Oh, I forgot, like, I forgot the C and rest of the CNK characters. Right, I'm gonna stick with Tiny. Yeah, I, I don't use characters I just don't fucking use. I've I barely ever use Yaya Panda. I don't even have Yaya Pan on PS4. I'm conflicted about Yaya Panda. Like, I love that she's here, but I don't care about her, you know? It's kind of weird. Fair. I didn't know who the fuck she was when she came out. <laughs> Oh my god. I was about to be so pissed. Like, bro, I just typed all of that. Alright, I made the wheel. Check spam. Damn, son. Yeah, I would definitely use this when we race. <laughs> I ain't the rest of these battles, too. 
Bitch, this is a parking lot? <laughs> No, this is the bad future where Oxide wins and we're his slaves performing. Yeah, this is the one we played together. Yeah. And if, ironically, this is like the this is the most Mario Kart battle arena I've ever seen in my oh, life. Oh, fuck. I think of, uh, what is it? The block fort arenas and shit like that when we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I always the one first one in? Die! God, the bomb is fucking OP. <laughs> like, whenever it's juiced up. Oh, the bowling bomb? Yes. Oh, fuck. I missed you. Like, once you get three three bowling bombs, you're fucking ah! set. Damn, lame. Fuck. You can, like, change the item frequency and stuff, too, right? I mean, you can choose <laughs> what items can appear. Yeah, you can do that in the original as well. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was me. Okay. I didn't expect it. I didn't realize you were already that far out. Uh, uh, I think Jeremy will. I'll get the trophy next time. Well, you're a warrior. Alright, Jeremy match point. Your. Who do I want to play as? Koala Kong it is. Now as far as adding the customizations and shit, that's a that's a project. <laughs> it's... Yeah. I'd probably just get rid of the ones I wouldn't use and just add in the variations. Astronaut Kong. It's like a ghetto Donkey Kong character. Yeah. What if Koala Kong was the main villain for the new Donkey Kong game? I would not act. <laughs> like, two of like my favorite video game franchises collide. It's like. <laughs> In the most unusual way. Like, I'll get Koala Kong. Just... You go ahead. I was gonna say, have we ever just sat down and ranked the actual, or did you do a tier list debate of the tournaments? Not tournaments, but the Grand Prix from CTR Nitro Fuel? Not, not the Grand Prix, we just did tracks. Okay. I think Grand Prix was a consideration at one point. Because I was gonna say, like, I've never sat down and thought about what was my least favorite. But I do know the ones that I paid the least attention to, and that was like <laughs> when I started falling off of CTR. You know, I regret it. Like looking yeah, back, I nice. fucking regret it. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I blanked out. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> We're doing bad. Uh, well, no, I mean like for the tier list you mentioned. Uh, no, I mentioned Grand uh, Prix, we ever like, do, all like all the. The Grand Prix, like all of its content, oh, the track, shit. the characters that came out, costumes, carts. Oh, yeah. I don't think we ever did that. No, no we definitely I don't not. think we did. The only no, thing because... Nitro Field related I did for Tearless Debate was the tracks. Because, uh, I mean, I remember very much so, like, um, I started falling off CTR's Grand Prix thing. It was oh, definitely. That's I'm trying to think. It was definitely Spire. What, the bowling ball? No, I'm saying, like, when you don't have a cart without wheels and you get invisible, you can, just can't be seen. Yeah. Whereas normally you can only see the wheels. <whistles> Damn. I was hoping to get you. Yeah. Whoop. I'm trying to think, dude. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I just got the shield as soon as he fucking threw it at me. Uh, uh, when did we feel burnout with Nitro Field stuff? Um, I've, 
I want to say it was probably towards the end of the Spyro. So, I mean, granted, I unlocked all the Spyro shit. I just did not complete the actual like, the bar, the bar at all. God damn. Um, for me, I started feeling burnout when the Christmas stuff was happening. I think when it was did, around that time. What was the next DLC thing after Spyro? Was it a? Uh... It was a uh, Koala Carnival, I believe. The Halloween stuff wasn't out yet. No, 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 no. Halloween was after that. Nina's Nightmare and everything came out. Yeah. I want to say that's probably when I started getting burnout. Probably my side too. Cause that's when they also had like the ghost stuff too, right? Like they added in the uh... Golden Wampa wasn't a thing yet, but they started at fuck. Let's go. Insur insurance risk. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did you go? Okay, pal! Yeah! <laughs> but no, I think, like, uh, if I remember, you know, let's just, fuck that. Let's just have, like, an open discussion about literally each Grand Prix. Sure. Like, I think, literally the first Grand Prix, I, I think the hype of when Nitro Field came out was probably the happiest I had been in a long time when the game came out. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my fucking Christ. And the Grand Prix came out, like, at the same time, right, as the game came out? I think it took an update, because the game needed updates because of all the fucking Wampa coins you'd be getting, like, randomly for some tracks. Mm -hmm. um, the online and everything. But I know, like, as soon as the Grand Prix shit came out, like, I had not played a game like that, and I felt like I was in high school playing online games again. Yeah. It was, it was, long, it was a magical long, time. It was a magical time, because, like, when, when Nitrofill first came out, only, only classic CTR players were the gods of the game. Because mm -hmm. while the mechanics weren't the same, they were, they were similar enough for, if you grew up with CTR, you were the fucking kings in online. Like, me and mm -hmm. Sean, we would always win. Always. Yeah. Without fail. It's just when people started getting used to the new mechanics is when we became peasants. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it got... I would say, like, the first Grand Prix. I think it was just super hype for everyone because... Like, what better way to introduce it than, hey, those characters in the credits who are like, oh, yeah, one of them's going to get into racing. Like, oh, yeah, like, what happened to the trophy girls? Oh, they're fucking characters now? Holy shit. That was the, that was <laughs> yeah. the most hype. That was hype. Like, all the trophy I remember, girls. I remember the there was complaining that the trophy girls weren't in the actual adventure mode. Oh, like, for just being there for trophy presentation? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was kind of a letdown because we all thought it was for soccer moms or whatever, but now they were just playable characters. Desert Storm. Now, the C and K battle arenas? Oh, fuck no. Definitely <laughs> no familiar. Definitely never touch these. <laughs> I yeah. I think I might have played the first one. I played the snow one, and that's it. I don't even know what that one's called. I know it's definitely in This Perry, one's cool, but... though. Definitely a lot bigger. That's for sure. Like, I that's remember when bad. I first discovered, like, oh, what are crystal challenges in CNK? They were, one day as a kid, they were hard as shit for me, but. Can I get an item that does damage? There we go. My... Where the fuck mm -hmm. are you guys? Oh, well, maybe you should probably drive in reverse. But yeah, um... Oh, you fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! But yeah, no. Grand Prix 1 is very solid. You know, five playable characters. Tana is the biggest one. The Trophy Girls are really fucking cool, too. Can't say the same for Jeremy. He's kind of a fucking douche. It's just... What the fuck? Oh, you were invisible. <laughs> 
I was like, how the fuck did you even see me, you jackass? I, I didn't. I tried to shoot <laughs> Sean with a bomb. You happen to be there. I don't even know Dude, where Dude, the only were. thing you can see is just the underneath of the fucking hover cart. Yeah, you can see, like, the, the little, like, effect of it moving. You know, Grand Prix 1 was pretty solid, especially the outfits, too. Like, I, sp <laughs> I think I spent my most time grinding the Grand Prix, like, during that. 100%. Yeah. Motherfucker, you're trying to hit me. Twilight Tour as a track too. Uh, ah, no. I like Twilight. Uh, I like Twilight Tour. Yeah, like I like. I it. really like it. I, I think, think it was just along with Koala Carnival is probably my favorite. Ah, oh, well, what happens? Wait, did I win? Oh fuck, I won. That's still two points. Are we all at two points? Yeah, I'm at one. You, you um, two or two. But yeah, no, I think um, I think the track as a whole, like, I think it definitely goes with... I like how it went kind of with the theme of kind of the... Um, what levels from Crash 3? The Arabian levels? Yeah. I think mostly. It's kind of... And it kind of, kind of ties in with the um, pyramid levels also. Or tomb levels. Um, from Crash 3. But mostly it's the mostly Arabian, Arabian. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stick with my boy. Now, the back in time, like with Baby Crash, Baby Coco, um, Baby T. That Grand Prix is the worst. <laughs> uh, what? The worst? I'm gonna it's the worst. I'm going to say... Yes. I'm saying it's the worst because I don't give a fuck about any of the characters. Baby T is cool. Crash and Coco babies suck. And Prehistoric Playground is, is an overrated track. I will say this. I also remember I, the cards they introduced kind of suck too. They were tag team racing cars. Nah. I remember. I thought, I thought that one was fine. Like the track was... The track is all right. It's like a B. I mean, I don't care about the baby characters. Baby T is cool. Um, some of the carts were cool. It, it, it's it's pretty middling as far as uh, as far as Grand Prix go. I thought prehistoric playground as a track was pretty neat. I didn't like gush over it like a lot of people. I love I love the aesthetic. Yeah. Sorry. No, I like the story behind it. I feel like they really built a good story behind it. Like, what if Fake Crash stole Entropy's time thing and it yeah. went back to time? That's actually sick. Yeah. I don't care. No, but I mean, the characters, yeah. Like, I'm not... Mario Kart 8 made me just hate baby characters. <laughs> like, and I was like, where did Baby Crash and Baby Coco come from? Of all characters. Like, where did the, where the fuck? Baby T makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But, like, where the fuck did they come from? <laughs> For, like, a second uh, Grand Prix, it was kind of like, why? Oh, this one I played. This one I played. Oop. Yeah, this was the first one I played, and I, that's when I realized I hate <laughs> trophy <laughs> challenges. Not trophy challenges, crystal challenges and C and K. You just should fucking... All right, cool. Already down two hits. Motherfuck! Oh shit! Oh my ass! Hey, look, we can talk about this. We can talk about this. Leave me alone. I almost, I almost got you oh, twice. Shit. Did you? <laughs> you literally just blipped. Like, yeah. Now what you see fuck? me. Now you don't. Oh shit. You talking about me? No, me. this motherfucker, he Dragon Ball Z abridged instant transmission out of here. <laughs> it's just. He, he just remembered he could do that, oh. huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, hello! <What> <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want. I want. Wait, no, I do want to eliminate you. Come here. Ah. Oh, shit! Ah, I died. Where is that fool? Yeah! Oh, what the fuck? I was in 
invisible. <laughs> yeah, but I had shot backwards randomly. God damn it. Alright, it's all tied up. Yep. That's my next character. Mega Man. So anyway, the next one was the Spyro Circuit. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking of other stuff, like, from Prehistoric Playground, actually. Um, what do you got? I'm trying to think. The carts, yeah, I think. One of them was CTR, was a C CTTR, or Tag Team Racing. Um, mm. I think the other one, yeah, they were all Tag Team Racing cars, now that I think about it. Yeah, they weren't bad. I think the one that I liked the most was the Cortex one, the the Probion two thousand or some shit. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, I I remember I gushed over that vehicle and I was like, I want it, <laughs> I want it. One because it was the hover cars are like were cool to me originally, and I was like, you can't even put wheels on them. <laughs> and that made me go like, I don't really care for it. Um, outside of that though, like overall, like. That Grand Prix was okay. It wasn't like it was all right. I think I had way more hype for like the uh, the first Grand Prix just because it was the Trophy Girls who were way more recognizable. Um, so yeah. But the Spyro one, if I was a bigger Spyro fan, I would have gone crazy over it. See, I I just think there's too much love for Spyro. Which is yeah, where no, Hunter I... was in there. No, like, for the first one, it should have been Spyro, um, Rip, Rip, Ripter? Oh, my God. Ripto. Ripter. I, I, I don't know why I was thinking of Ripter. I don't know why I thought of Ripter from fucking Castlevania <laughs> and Ripto. Jesus. No, but it should have been Spyro, Ripto. They should have more characters. Spyro, Ripto, Hunter, and either, yeah, probably Alora. Mm-hmm. There should have been like a second season of Spyro. Yeah. At the very least. The way I would rank Spyro is that like, I feel like the I put it over Prehistoric Playground, not because I necessarily think the track is better. It's but the it's the sim it's simply because we got Spyro, and that's about it. <laughs> like Spyro yeah. is fucking huge because like. Last time he was playable in one of these racing huh. games was in fucking the Game Boy version of Nitro Kart. Yeah. And he got a cool That's fucking cool. cart too. The Spyro yeah, 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 Mobile. Oh, like the actual cart from uh, the yeah. Grand Prix. The Grand yeah, the Spyro Mobile is cool. Yeah, I like it. No! Fuck! Ah. Uh, uh, rip. Toe. It's between you, it's between you and me. No, but, um, no, the Grand Prix for Spyro was actually really good. Like, that one was one where I started falling off. And the reason why I say that is because I didn't get the decal for the champion car for Spyro. And it looked so fucking sick. What else? Um, yeah, it should have been, they should have had Spyro, Aurora, Hunter, Ripto, and Nasty Nork. Oh. I got I got hit by the fan. And then if anything for the track, they really could have done like a little bit more creativity with the portals. Like granted, like I think it's cool. Like, hey, the track is pretty much um, the artisan world where you start off and it's just the head that's closed, and then you just actually go behind it instead this time. But I feel like the portals could have took you places between Spyro One, Two, and Three. I'm going too fast. Stop! I had an item I couldn't fucking use. Fucking Sean. <clears throat> Sucks. Cope. Well, you could probably cope with me when you probably die too. Probably. Damn. <clears throat> Oh, that was close. Yeah, I'm oh, oh, oh. oh fuck, oh fuck, this is bad. Yep. Yeah. Star of the show. Damn. That'll be good. Great right in battle mode. Um, 
I'm trying to think of other things. The Spyro Mobile was cool. Nasty Rider was pretty decent. Yeah, it was pretty. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, no, like the overall Grand Prix. I think it just being Spyro and a few cool ass carts is what makes it higher than Prehistoric Playground for me. They really could have done so much more though. Like Spyro, could've the Spyro been. Grand Prix. They it deserved a lot more. Like what we got was cool, but then you look back at it, you're like, God, why didn't they add like a Laura? There- yeah, there was so much they could have added. I felt like I enjoyed it, but it felt like it was a lot to be desired. Oh, one hundred percent. Do you have to close the room to start races, or? Yeah, I do. Okay. But no, um, Spyro was fine. I think the next one was uh, Halloween, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I love Nina's. I love Nina's Nightmare. That is like that's my a good favorite. track. That is my favorite track from the Grand Prix. The Nina Nightmare Grand Prix is definitely the best one we are talking about so far. Because it's a great track. You get like three iconic characters, Nina, Komodo Mo, and Brio. It was basically the, hey, Nina's here, and she brought the last two characters who should have been in the original CTR. (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's, I would say... mm. It's between it's between that and the first one, but I also really like there's another one that I really like too. Like there's mm, It is still really good. I do really like that one. I'm trying to think what vehicles we've even got. No we got the pressurizer, which is the big fucking pipe looking thing. The Phantom and the Skull Rider, I wanna say. Yeah, like, Skull one of the big ma- one of them being like Nina's Where car. you invented it. You see this machine? I invented it. It's just this. Oh, I was in the first game. Uh, mutagen. All right, we're done using turn because fuck that. Uh, acceleration. <sighs> but yeah. Um. Yeah, Nino is a very solid Grand Prix. Easily one of the best. The track is really good. They introduced the Ghost to, like, you, uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah, which basically was the predecessor to getting the Golden Wampa Fruit. Yeah. Yep. They still have it in that track, but only in that track. For no reason. For no reason. I think it was just hard to decode it out. Maybe. I don't know. And then, like, at that point, we also had, I think, in my opinion, the best, like, wheels. Because the ghost tires are fucking sick. Like, the ghost paint job in general is pretty sick. Oh, yeah, the spectral yeah. ones, those are cool. Yeah, yeah, that shit is so dope. I think, uh, let me see, the Grand Prix meter, from what I remember, I think the last thing was, like, Ragdoll Nina. Well, she's like a doll. And I was like, oh, right. Um, and then we had, like, gooey fake crash. I think, or Monster Fake Crash, I think it was called. Oh, shit. I forgot to take the AIs off. Anyone disconnect? Did. Did you? Uh, I didn't, Sean. I got disconnected. Yep. <clears throat> That's actually interesting. AI makes you disconnect. <laughs> um, let me think. What else? Yeah, that was a good, that was a good Grand Prix for sure. Um... Yeah, I think the one thing about Nina's Nightmare I liked was just all the references, especially in the castle. You can see like pictures of Madame mm-hmm. Amberly, like family Cort- Cortex's family or some shit. I like the little details in it, yeah. Alright, let's E. Yeah, it's a fun little trick. Yeah, Koala Carnival, I 100% fell off. <laughs> really? I fell, I fell off so bad. And then they introduced the ring thing, right? In that Grand Prix? Yeah, yeah ring mode is like fun. That mode. That's I a like really that fun mode. mode. Yeah. 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 And it was it's a difficult. solid... It was a solid way to get coins, too. Until they nerfed it. Yeah. No, yeah, like... you, used to get, you used to get like as many from that as you would races, if not more. And then yeah, they nah. had the way of like, if you get this many points on co- and co- uh, the the ring mode, it's like, oh cool, that's 
stupid high. Holy shit. <clears throat> no, yeah, especially if you did like good. Electron Avenue. Yeah, I think it was the Electron. It was. I think it was Electron Avenue. They had the um the track for. Really? Yeah. For like doing yeah. the ring mode or ring for the, mode? Uh, yeah. for the challenge. For the challenges that they had. That's interesting. Yeah, no, like I fell off so bad. Like I definitely. I think whenever I would play the game, I I went in trying to get the characters. I at least made sure I got the characters. After that, it was like I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Yeah. Um, I like Wild Carnival a lot. Yeah. Um, I think the track is one of the best. Uh, I think the tag team racing the characters fuck? being put in is really cool. And Koala Kong is like the f the final character that should have been in the original CTR. Yeah. It's all in the diet. And like, oh, I love Koala Kong. I don't really care much you about the tag team racing, but... Just like uh, some other Grand Prix, it's really cool that they're there at all. Yeah. Bro, how many missiles so, do you got? I actually, I actually would say Qualcomm oh, Carnival is the best Grand Prix so far. I've heard a lot of like about. I heard a lot, of, a lot of people actually just, like give praises to Kwana, Kwana, Kwana Carnival. Kwana, Jesus. Kwana. Um, but yeah, overall, like, I fell off so bad. And it's like, I remember at the time, I didn't really just say, like, that the track was great, only because the fact that it was just an oval. <laughs> I was just like, I mean, it looks pretty. Yeah, yeah but it was, was a like, really but... fun oval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that speed. Oh, Jesus! You bitch, you ruined the fucking shortcut for me. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Why does the bomb have curve in it? No! Ah. Go! Motherfuck! <laughs> Later, bitches! <laughs> what? I didn't pass you at the end? On my screen, I passed you. 20 milliseconds. Oh my god. No, um... I fell off. And then the Christmas one definitely fucking fell off. It was so bad. Oh, yeah, that one's not good. I, yeah, I, I did I, fall off on that one. I, However, I'm not a fan of Gingerbread Joyride. <laughs> however, I do think, in retrospect, I think I like it more than Prehistoric Playground. Interesting. I don't. Because... I prefer Prehistoric Playground <clears throat> way more than Gingerbread First of all, <laughs> here, here are my counter arguments. I actually don't think the stage is that bad. It's not one of my favorites, but it's not that bad. Uh, the characters are all obscure as fuck, and part of me feels like that adds to its charm. And, like, yeah, we got, we got the chickens. We got a phone-exclusive racing character. We got a character who was cut from a racing game. And then we got Square Eye Jack. Right. Oh my god. No, I just think like twice. You said what? Twice. Well, no, we got no, no, we got real root in the uh, update. <laughs> I love. I still love how they didn't change the character. They just made two slots. Yeah, I know. It wasn't even a costume. It was they're two separate characters. And they have no costumes. Yeah. So, like, overall, I actually, I don't think it's the worst Grand Prix. Because, like, if you look at all the contents, for me personally, I think it is pretty damn good. Like, for what it's worth, I do say that the costumes for the Christmas Grand Prix were good. Like, I did like Reindeer Crash. I like that one a lot. Um, Elf Coco, I think. And had one of the ugliest cards. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Uh, what, what hey, was Sean, that really quickly. Sean, wait, 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 time out. Sean, doesn't this Mega Me skin look like she belongs in My Hero Academia? Kind of. All right, you can continue now. No, so like, what was the, the, one with the face? One? The one with the face. Ugh. Oh my god, it was yeah, so it's ugly. Gross. That Grand Prix had the shittiest cards. I'm not even kidding. Those They're cards awful. were ugly. There was the one that 
I, this is when I got over the whole hover car thing. And I was like, okay, they're not that cool because I can't do shit with wheels with them. And then there was the other one, not the one with the face, the the sleigh one. No, there was a sleigh one, the one with the face, and there was another one I can't remember. Oh, a snowmobile. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't care. Like these carts are, no, like. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that, I think they also this Grand Prix introduced the sweets. Shit, like, oh yeah, like you can get like a blueberry swirl paint job or like a uh, lemon flavor. And I'm looking at it, I'm just like, why? The wheels kind of suck too. But you know what makes up for all that? The costumes. Like, Winter Tana, Winter Coco, Reindeer Crash are really. I PJ Ripper. Winter Tana. R- Ripper. PJ Ripperoo. Oh, oh yep. that one was introduced in that one? Yeah. Uh, like, I think... Oh, my God. I... Oh. Why I think they did... Okay, a, I think they actually did a really damn good job with costumes in that season. Yeah, no. Like, I, I really love the Christmas stuff. I think Baby... Baby Crash and Baby Coco, like, they got the outfits that I would only have them wear if I'm using them, which is the monster mm-hmm. PJ stuff. Yeah. Um... But yeah, no, the winter stuff was really good. I think, I don't remember which Grand Prix introduced Ripper Roo's, like, uh, what is it? His Crash 2 outfit, I like to call it. What's that? Not in the base nope. game? What is it? Okay, no, no, science, like, no, Science is Ripper Roo. I think I also like that, too. I think that one was introduced in... Science Pitch, right? in Prehist- Prehistoric Playground. Don't you just love it too? Like uh, CTR's Grand Prix, like at the start when, when uh, like mostly Crash, Coco, and Cortex got all the outfits. No, 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 no. It was Coco, Tiny, and Dingo Dial, and Crash. I, no, I and, feel like yeah, yeah I feel like all the original eight characters outfits. got the most outfits. No, yeah. Polar and Pura totally got screwed over. <laughs> In comparison to the yeah, to be no, fair, Pura, the Polar, and an Engine. I don't think Engine got that many costumes in comparison, but I remember Dingo Dial, Coco, and Tiny especially getting a lot of costumes. Yeah, no, Coco has a fuck ton of fucking outfits. Like, yeah. My favorite one they introduced was the uh, basically Coco in Wonderland. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. Uh, Princess yeah, Coco. Like Coco. Dark uh, Coco from Twin Sanity that was cut. Is really good. Yeah. That was, from, that was supposed to be in Twin Sanity? Yes. Yeah. That's one of the cut content. That's... What? <laughs> was it something that was supposed to be like Gone a Bit Coco or something? Or is it just something No. Else? Uh, you were going to meet uh, Dark Coco. Uh... You were going to meet Dark Coco in the Evil Dimension. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh. oh <laughs> damn it. That was, that was so close. <laughs> damn. That was a close race. Um... Yeah, no, Dark Coco was going to show up after the chase with uh, Dark Crash. And she was acting very suggestive towards Co- Cortex. He's like, my mom told me men like their cocoa hot and bitter. And Cortex is like, I'm not thirsty. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is interesting. There wasn't a Coco variant in uh, on Twin Sanity Isle on that game. Now that mm-hmm. you think about it. I'm so upset of all the cut content. That makes that so upsetting. What the fuck? Crash on Sanity had the actual potential to be one of the best Crash PS2 games. It yes. Was, I mean, it is the best PS2 Crash game. It still, it still is the best one. Like, the, yeah. the only one that's competing. I, I, I think if it was complete, it would compete with the original trilogy easily. I think if Twin Sanity was complete, it would have been my favorite game at that point. Yeah, no. Like, my God, the stuff that was added. I honestly, there is a timeline out there where they got everything that we uh, we wanted, and that's a nice timeline. Uh, unfortunately, we don't we don't have it. We go to fucking trip instead of. Um. Let me see, what was I thinking about? Uh, yeah, the Christmas one. I'm trying to remember anything else. They, when did they introduce Drift? 
Um, it was relatively early on. I want I want to say either it was either prehistoric playground or Spyro. <gasps> no, it was Nina. Nina. It was Nina. It was Nina. I was gonna say that's when they also introduced. Um, hey, instead of the characters having a preset like thing yep. that they have, like you can swap it around. That that's was what Nina's made me nightmare. Pick- that made me pick Polar and Pura a lot more as characters after that. Cause you know, like, okay. now, if we throw that into the equation, I think Nina's Nightmare may be the best. Because that was the best mm. change ever. Yeah, like, that was a quality of life change that the game needed, but you didn't think it needed. Because then it's like, after yeah. that, it's kind of like the game is simply cosmetics at that point. Yeah, and it's better than how Mario Kart handles it. Cosmetics and just your favorite character. Yep. So it's like, even if you're like, you know, I think I do want to use the character's preset thing. It's like, you can change it, which is so fucking cool. And yeah, it's a lot better than how Mario Kart handles it. Because, like, each character has one specific thing. If you're going to race online, you're going to be racing with a bunch of, like, OEGs, Funky Kongs, whatever have you. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, bitch. I was say somebody's going to get that shit. Motherfuck! No, I get the shield, uh, bitch. This might be Noah's race. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm saying that because I want you to fuck up. <laughs> you know what, smart man. Motherfucker! <laughs> Bye. Bitch! Bye. Bye. What was Get that? <laughs> 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 you pushed me <laughs> off in the you ditch. Know, oh, that was- <laughs> You guys remind me of Spongebob and Squidward when they're racing to the Krusty Krab no! game play of the month. Oh, oh motherfuck! Okay, maybe this is my race. <laughs> no, what happened is I, I still had, had to say it, huh? I still had a boost, um, and you sent me flying forward when you ran into me. So I was like, bye, boom. <laughs> that was funny. You know, the it's shit that happens when you're really not recording. Weird. It's fucking weird to see Von Clutch has the Aku Aku mask. Like, I know he's not evil, right? But at the same time, it's like characters that don't... Seem like they don't even follow a specific mask. They, mask. They're just like, okay, cool, here you go. Like, you're a good guy. You get Aku Aku. Also funny that you set that, Sean. Yes. Okay, I lost. Wait, what? funny that I said what? I'll let you retrace your steps. I I literally already forgot what I said. Oh, that it was your race? Nah, after that. Remind me. The shit you say. I'm I already blanked out. Literally, that's how much I I didn't pay attention to what I was saying. <sighs> Sorry. It's good. It's nothing. Um, what was the next one after the Christmas one? Mega Mix, right? It was Mega Mix. And to me personally, that's my personal favorite Grand Prix. I like that one. Because I love Mega Mix Mania as a stage. Mega Mix being a character at all is cool. Uh, the original 8 plus Nina for some reason having Mad Max skins and almost all of them are fucking awesome. Yeah. Nina got one too? Yes. Yeah, Nina got one. She had a great one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like that shit was fucking <clears throat> crazy. I remember seeing the trailer. You see Chicken Stew riding like their double dash style. Like, is this a new one? Oh, ah, man. <laughs> Damn. Imagine. That would be great. Oh, yeah, she did. Russell and Nina. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I use stew. I really use chicken stew whenever I'm racing. I think the easiest thing to do to kind of just put these in a wheel to side is just number everything. Yeah, maybe. Instead of- Instead of putting the description, it's probably the easiest thing to do. Because if you put the numbers, you just got to go to the number of it. (laughs) 
fucking intro <laughs> in his little forties. I love how stupid that looks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at everybody from left to right. Fucking in trance is trying to go to the water park. <laughs> I mean, it is Ruse Tubes. <laughs> yeah, no, Mega Mix, um, yeah, the wrestling outfits were cool. I like the new mask that only shows up. What is that? Uka Uka, but. It's Uka Uka and Aku Aku from their Titans designs mixed together. That is fucking genius. That's actually really dope. That's dope. Now, yeah, I, I got a all, little... All, all the wrestling characters can get that as their masks. Yeah. No, the wrestling, like, cars... I do remember one that was a hover car. Um, I think all the cars in the actual, like, co like the decals for them, too, are fucking sick. And after learning the lore behind Mega Mix Mania, is essentially it's Ruse Tubes, but if a missile hit it... If, if, if it's Ruse Tubes, if it was in the apocalypse. Yeah, so, like, the water's drained out, like, you yeah, see yeah, like battleship from Twin Sanity. Let me have this. I got it. Nice. Let's go. No, I didn't get it. Come into me. Thank you. Motherfucker. Yeah, no, like, I, I love the lore. Like, some of the tracks is lore from the Grand Prix were so fucking good. Like, and I, I originally remember, like, um, Vicarious Visions doing an interview where they talked about each track was supposed to have an image or some type of, like, lore behind it. And I think they fell off that idea. Because uh, Dra Dragon Minds had one. It's like lab assistants are basically going down trying to avoid the dragon that's in there and they're hunting for gems. Yeah. It, it's, it sucks, but, I mean, I get why they can't have every single track have a story. Yeah, no. Like, I can't think of a story behind, like, Sly Coliseum other than I'm just trying to watch races today. Um, I know the ones that are, that do have lore, like, Coco Park is supposed to be just a flower garden or flower festivals going on. Um, i trying to think of other ones. In Papu Pyramid, the piranha plants are teaching the baby piranha plants how to actually be evil. This, uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and if you see some, a cart racer right here, go. <laughs> Any questions? Especially if they're fucking orange. We hate those guys. <laughs> Why the okay. orange ones? Oh man, that's a racist class. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other tracks like stories behind them. Uh, Hot Air Skyway is now a casino. I love that. Hmm. Nothing for Cortex Castle. Engine Labs, they're rebuilding one of the engine robots or engine mechs. Both of them, actually. I thought it was only one. I saw the one no. from Crash 3. Yeah, you saw the one from Crash 3, but like if you look, if you, if you don't drive and you look on the right side, you'll see the Crash 2 mech. I never noticed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think one time I actually started taking the time to view the tracks and it's actually really fucking dope how Nitro Fuel has a lot of callbacks and references, like insane trilogies, like line of the Crash games. Because, like, if you go to Dingo Canyon, you can actually see, like, the Crash fish from the prehistoric levels of Crash 3 on the side of the track. And I think that's actually pretty dope. And then last but not least, we have the final Grand Prix. What was it? Drive through danger? Drive through yeah, danger. That's the most that's the most rainbow road copycat I've ever seen in my life. Now, if, oh, yeah. if it just straightened out the roads a little bit and had more guardrails, it'd actually be a good track. Nah, that's Rainbow Road. That's Crash Team Racing's response to Rainbow Road. That's true. And it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, that's not very good. The story it's easily, behind it, like, it's easily the worst track in the game, and you like, can't argue otherwise. 
it, the story behind it, though, pretty neat, right? Like, two fast food restaurants trying to argue for an advertisement on CTR TV. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. sweet. And we're in the middle of it. <laughs> we're driving through it. There's only one thing in that Grand Prix that's that is worth the damn and saves almost Fake everything. And Mr. You mean the real Velo, the, the the man. He may <laughs> not be voiced by Steve Bloom anymore, but he's fucking magnificent. What else was it though? Were you gonna say anything else? Nah, that's it. Like, oh my god, like yeah. when when we got quote unquote real Velo way back in the beginning with all the Nitro Kart characters, everybody was pissed. But to get yeah. the actual Velo and his his badass hover bike thing, goddamn, was that great? It made yeah. racing with the uh, boss characters from C and K that you already had like even more worthwhile because you can just put them in the boss cars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. No, I think uh, well, real Velo, like quote unquote real Velo, was supposed to be like the most OP character in C and K. So like having him as a turn character originally probably made him way more shitty. <laughs> he was the turn character. Yeah, like, before they added in Drift, they made it to where you can pick whatever you want. The fuck? <laughs> in C&K, awful. he's like, in C&K, he's like, OP as shit. Like, oh, yeah. I think I remember that, yeah. <laughs> Unlike Oxide, he's actually a Whoa, threat. Whoa, shit. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? Ah! From, her, from his mother's womb. Oh, what the fuck? Check your But yeah, um, overall, I can't remember anything else from just, I think they added in, what did they add in, the the pirate, space pirate outfits for the trophy girls, I think were added? Yep. Those are half and half. Uh, there were some astronaut suits for like Koala Kong and somebody else. And Spyro, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Spyro got one. Um, yeah, no, that, it, it wasn't. Like a holy shit! Like this is the best what ending. What the fuck? Oh cool, man! My mask ran out just as a uh, potion in front of my face. No, oh, you're not dodging this shit. No, please, no, no, please, give me a shield, give me a shield, give me something. The fuck! <laughs> give me something. The fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, you motherfucks! No, I almost pulled the fucking. Uh, I wanted thing. to get Jeremy. No. Oh man, I almost pulled the fucking Isle Volcano, whatever bullshit again. Let me think. Uh, yeah, and then the after, you know, here's the Beanox pack. Like, you get the crate, a bunch of Beanox colors, and that's it. And here's the Nitro GT car. I got to say, uh, when the crate. When we found out how you get the crate, where you have to go to every single level and have a Beanox crate, me and Sean trying to find it together and tell us where to find it was probably the most fun I've had with Nitro Field. Because yeah. it, it, it had, like, this fake co-op mode that it had. Like, you do it online, you see the box, you hit it, and you let each other know. No, no, it was great. I, oh yeah, and then we had the lab assistant, baby Cortex, oh, yeah. and baby Crash. Or not baby Crash, baby Entropy. The lab assistant was great. Yeah, that was probably the best addition as far as baby Cortex Entropy could have heavily done without. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was very upset when the overall mm-hmm. game ended. But I think after seeing the accolades and everything, it made me feel kind of like at peace. I was like, you know what? Like, this shit's over. But you know what? Goddamn, this is like a big ass goddamn game. Oh, yeah. There's a lot in this game. Like, there's so much content. And the only thing we, we needed was a Nitro Kart Adventure Mode. And I normally wouldn't be saying this, but like, they went out of their way to do everything that the Adventure Mode would have had besides an besides a hub world and cutscenes. That's all they had to work on. Because they they made tokens, they made relics, 
something you can do on your free time. I don't know why you would, honestly, because you don't get shit from it. But they're there. Like, and, honestly, yeah. the one thing that really could have made this game good, right? And this is asking for too much. I feel like it is. Is they realistically could have gotten each game's story because they we got shit from tag team nitro and OG. We could have actually had a tag team racing esque adventure mode to where you kind of walk around your crash and that will give the tokens a purpose because then you can go around the park if they had that and you just get the tokens that you could use to spend on your cars and shit in the Wampa Sword. I think that's. A lot. Of yeah, it's, it's asking. Yeah. It's asking for too much. At a minimum, yes, having Nitro Cars Adventure Mode would have done wonders. I think like one thing I thought would have been cool would be like having uh, them remake some of the uh, some of the trow some of the tracks from uh, Tag Team Racing into this style. Wow, I cannot hit any of these uh, Turbo Pets. You yeah, know, like, um, I feel like I thought that there was a track or no, like I thought either they got inspiration on when they were remaking the tracks from Tag Team Racing or one of the Grand Prix tracks was supposed to be kind of like a callback to Tag Team Racing design for tracks. Mm -hmm. I felt that with Prehistoric Playground, like Prehistoric Playground oh, felt like a Tag Team Racing track. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I would have loved E-Velocity as a track in this game. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. Oh, fuck. Too fast. Oh, I missed it. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn, I keep jumping over the fucking things. I've done that, too, yeah. Ted again, what the fuck? Bitch, I see what you're trying to do, you fucking gore! Wow, no, fuck you! Ah. They had to really make the missiles go fast as God, fuck. God, I keep missing that fucking shit. <laughs> Sir, we can talk about this. Sir, we can talk. Uh. There's no talking. Oh, what the fuck would you? Oh my god! You're always yeah. losing by milliseconds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I saw my screen. You launched him into the finish line. Damn. In trophy it is. Is it because I hit him? Fuck. Yes, it was. Damn it. Dude, it's also crazy because the double dipping I did for this game is actually insane. I remember like getting this on the Switch. And I barely touched it. I, I played enough to unlock a few things, but I barely touched it. So I was like, dude, I've already put so many hours into the PlayStation version. I don't feel like it with this. I felt like that, only the opposite. Because, like, my PS4 was a single-player machine. But since I'm playing the game on PS5, and the PS5 is... M the console in my house. So you know, it's, to me, like I look at the PS5 as like a everything console, low key. Like I have like a few games that I can play online with friends. That being like Hell Divers Two and like this Dead by Daylight, um, Rumble. If I'm in the mood. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, it's kind of like well. I haven't played a single player game. I'm, I'm, I really need to like motivate myself to play Kingdom Hearts. I don't want to. It's just mentally prepare my body for an RPG. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I like that look. I'm literally only missing like a few wheels. I really need to start getting more, but I also need to get more coins by shit. 
All right, I got a fun little Jeremy question for you. Oh, What's boy. That? I'm going to name a character, and I want you to tell me what your favorite costume is for them. Okay. All right, first off, we'll start with Crash. Biker. Mm, I have, like, three in mind. Um, I'm a fan of Rustland, Biker, and the swimming one from Crash 3. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, for me, it's either Rustland or Biker. If I had to choose between the two, I'd probably lean towards Biker. Honorable mention goes to Reindeer Crash. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Scientist Crash. Mostly for his <laughs> victory animation, which is just Cortex's <laughs> victory animation. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That. Uh, that was funny. Uh, Coco. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> um, Alex, Princess. Coco in Wonderland. I I like print either. I'm gonna let my my uh, I'd probably choose uh, Princess Coco, but like uh, Winter Coco is a close second. Is Princess Coco the one that was in tag team racing? Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, Winter, uh, Allison or Coco in Wonderland. Um, I will want to say what the fuck, dude? I'm trying to think of all Coco's. But I also like Sean. I also like Dark Coco a lot. Oh, Evil Coco from like uh, Mind Over Mutant. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a costume. That was pretty right. dope too. That's a pretty yeah, dope I reference. One. I, I did love Evil Coco. Oh fuck, I put it down too early. I don't think, uh, yeah, Dark Coco is cool. I just like how moody she is with her. It's the same celebration with like, woohoo. Just... Where the fuck did you come from? Bitch! Oh my god. Catch up with this bastard. No, you won't. What the fuck? Give me a shit, give me a shit, give me a shit. Brother in Christ. Brother in fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you wanted to play? Oh fuck, bro! Why is there a natural crit on every? I really, I wanted you to hit it so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Well, the crash race has decided. Spyro won. Spyro's getting a game next. Sorry, crash. Sit down. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> and Sean's like, oh, maybe it's a good thing I didn't win this race. This <laughs> is just maybe. <laughs> uh, tiny. Tiny. Oh. Ooh. Gladiator. Gladiator. I like the different color of his general outfit when he looks like M. Bison. <laughs> I like the general one, too. That's a really good one. Uh, oh, and the werewolf. Werewolf tiny, too. Uh, I'm Ooh, tied between good. biker and werewolf. What did Rustland tiny look like? Oh, yeah, he had, like, on a foot... No, that was just football tiny. Like, quarterback. Oh, yeah, fo yeah, football tiny is awesome, too. No, Rustland, he had, like, a skull over his head. Oh, yeah. He had an okay wrestling outfit, but like, fuck. I think Tiny probably had my favorite costumes in terms of quantity and quality. No, I'm looking at all the outfits. Like, we got the biker one. There's Cheetah. I love the, I think I would go with the biker one just because of the fucking Uka Uka symbol on the front and back of his jacket. Tiny foot, tiny football, werewolf tiny, football tiny. Oh yeah, Biker yeah, Tiny still, looks fucking sick. Still partial to Gladiator. Yeah, uh, I would probably lean towards Biker, but honorable mention to Werewolf Tiny. That one's fucking rad. Yeah, we'll 
what's next? Dingo dial. Ooh, um, the the painter one. Super on, soaker. One Super soaker. It That's is a good one too. The... Uh, Breastland. I like how he's just full on crocodile. That one is really crocodile. cool too. His trophy uh, animation is dope. Yeah. Like, can I play as that Dingo Dial in Hell Divers 2? <laughs> no, we'd be killing that Dingo Dial in Hell Divers 2. Dude, he'd be killing us. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Cortex. Ooh, uh, Ninja. Right, the Ninja one was here, right? Or yeah, the, the ninja okay. one was in there. It was that's so that's so nostalgic attack thing. I think I do like the ninja one. And Robo also, Cortex. Isn't there one where he looks like fucking Doctor Nefarious? Like he, does. he almost has yeah, the same color the purple scheme. one. The purple one. He almost looks like him. If his head case was green, it would be a a damn a, identical. It'd be a, intentional at that point. But yeah, I love Robo Cortex. Specifically the purple one. Hear me out before you keep going with these characters. You know, I love the fact that for the PlayStation version, they gave them, like, the blocky... Like, Crash Coco Cortex yeah. got the blocky, like, looks from their yeah. PlayStation 1 era. Why yeah, do you know the other honest, characters get that? I, I, I don't know. At, at least the original 8, I would say. That's what I'm saying. Like, the original 8 should have got that. But I'm gonna be I'll be a fallen honest. I think the only one that actually looks good is Crash. Facts. Cortex looks Co fucking disgusting. Co Coco looks alright. Cortex looks ugly. Yeah. It's even it even stands the same for like uh whenever you look at them on like Crash 4. I think Crash ah. looks a lot better with his like PS1 outfit. <laughs> Goofy, out of place, but still looks Good. It's like looking at no. It's like looking at a low poly crash. It's like he looks fucking adorable. This yeah. is a weird thing. But like, what's uh? Oh fuck! I'm not gonna be able to do the shortcut. I don't have a way to do it. What's 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 what you got? Like, for the different anim jumping animations when they're like flying through the air. What are some of your favorites? Because there's there's a, all the. There's a ton of different ones. I like, as I'm looking at Fate Crash, I'm like, oh, he's a good one. It's a weird question. I don't think I noticed him that much. Like, I don't you, notice you, them I, unless I'm really on I, Electron Avenue. Yeah, Electron Avenue is when you would notice them. I, I'm noticing them right now, but then again, it's also I'm doing some high jumps. Oh, you're talking about, like, uh, what they're, they're, like, when they, they do a little animation when they jump. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, no, like, I thought you were talking about like the extended version that you would oh, only no. see in that Electron Avenue. I mean, that is a interesting thought. But I, no, guess, wasn't what I, was I of. guess uh, I would say the Coco Split. That's fair. That's like, a good one. It's a good one. It's a reference to Nostalgic. our Met Metro Kart one. Yeah. On top of that, it looked like it would hurt like a bitch when she lands. Yeah. I got a big question for you, right? <clears throat> Out of all the tracks, right? Because we know it's Nitro car tracks, team racing tracks. Don't include the Grand Prix ones. Name five tracks that you feel like got the best glow up from o their OG to this. Honestly, a lot Honestly, of them would be the Nitro car tracks. I was going to say the exact same thing. Because a be lot the of them, car. you know, what was the what was the one that got, that got turned into snowy area? Uh, Meteor, no. No, it, it, it lost its turn. snow, didn't it? No, yeah, Meteor well, well, Gorge lost the snow. Well, That's right. Well, no, Me Meteor Gorge had the snow, but, like, it, they made it more, like, less snow and more, like, muddy. It doesn't like, look like Blizzard time. Bluff anymore. I, I yeah. like I like the glow up that Meteor Gorge had a lot. Same. Uh, um, Infernal Island looks better. Yeah, it doesn't look like fucking Crash Cove anymore. Like, yeah. what I like about the Nitro Car tracks is they distinguish them so they don't look like CTR tracks as much. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, what's it called? Well, Thunderstruck, I used to always think, took after Hot Air Skyway. But well, then it's like, well, it has green green sky. So I think it's just the length of the track. But, uh, 
Yeah, insane or uh, what is it called? Infernal Isle doesn't look like Crash Cove anymore. Tiny Temple doesn't just favor more of Tiger Temple anymore. I think I think Tiny Temple always looks pretty good. Uh, I'm currently blanking. Uh, I do you guys like uh hyperspace wave more or less with the trimmed up? More. I I like it a lot more. Like I'll be honest, every track in from CNK that got like a different look because they don't have the anti gravity anymore is the best decision ever. Like the anti gravity was super clunky in C and K. Yeah. Yeah. So like them taking it out, I'm one hundred percent down for it. Like think about all the tracks that heavily had like anti gravity and how much better they look. Like Tiny Temple looks ten times better it with the section that it has versus like um the anti grav stuff. Um Hyper Spaceway does look better. Yeah. Let me think what else tracks I think had anti grav heavy. Electron Avenue, like it looks like a completely different track. Yeah. And Electron Avenue as a whole got a really big glow up because that was just a neon track with just neon signs and shit everywhere. I didn't even think it had that much neon <laughs> to begin with. It didn't. It was just it, it kind of remind me of it looks a lot nicer. It, now. It, okay. It, lo- it looked a lot like uh, Android Alley, kind of. It's a longer yeah. Android Alley. Yeah. Android Alley during the daytime looks cool. <laughs> like, no, like, I, yeah, the CNK tracks got heavy glow ups. It's crazy. Um, oh, I like. Oh. What, what track is it? Uh, Out of Time looks really good. Yeah. Like how the clock is basically shattered and all the pieces are frozen in place, pretty much. Oh fuck! Yeah. Next character, um, oh shit, uh, <laughs> Polar. Uh, I like the little raincoat. Yeah, the raincoat's my favorite. I'm say it's the raincoat. Oh, he has Rustland too. Yeah, definitely the raincoat. <laughs> I like Rustland as well, but like, I think the raincoat's yeah. fucking great. Pura. Rustland. Oh, Puss and, P- Puss and Pura. Just... That's good. One oh too. my god, that's a good one. I, I thought nothing less than Puss in Boots when I saw that outfit. That I think the that's what they were going for. Ballerina. <laughs> kind of like the chef. Oh, I don't like my engine. I'll also put him in the ballerina. <laughs> Just for um, reference sake. Crash test dummy isn't bad. Yeah. yeah, I don't favor that, and I know I don't because it was the last fucking outfit I got in the shop. Oof. Mm-hmm. Alright. Nash, he's another character. They got a lot of costumes. Ooh, uh, his winter one, the little, uh, the little coat. Yeah, it's adorable. I like the one from Koala Carnival. Oh, the the little um, the uh, cannonball, cannonball one. Yeah. yeah. I think I would go with the the, the winter coat. Tana. Witch. 
Mmm. Witch. Let me look, because I feel Absolutely like I want to the witch. Well, like, speaking of. <laughs> like, not a furry, but. <laughs> I, I would. I would. Bro, witches? Yeah, witches are a that I feel like are just hot as fuck. Mm, I, lo for I, love how, I love how she has a sexy Gruntel look outfit. Yeah, that's I love how that's the one that I got in the shop too. I'd probably go with motorsport. Alright. I would go with winter. I like how her hair is all tied up in a bow. That's a nice one too. Actually, no, we'll go with... Okay, okay, I'm gonna switch up the question a little bit. Since the Nitro Squad generally gets, like, the same costumes, I'm gonna say what series of costume, and you say who looks the best in it. Okay. Uh, the Carnival one and Amy. Well, let him ask first, muchacho. <laughs> yeah, he clearly didn't hear what I said. Well, you I'm said gonna, since I'm, they have the same ones, the Nitro Squad. Yeah, he's gonna ask I know. first. I, I'm gonna say the series, and then you're gonna say who looks the best in that that series. Okay, I thought you said who. I thought you said favorite series, and then who's the best. That is not what I said. But okay. All right, then the the act the, the uh, Nitro Squad outfits, the very first ones. Hmm. Sabretas don't really like that many of them. Uh, I can't remember how they look. I can't remember, honestly. Uh, I, I want to say... Okay, I, I, I remember Liz's. I remember Isabelle's. No. I probably would say... Megumi. Let me look. I'm gonna Google this. All right, let's see. Let's. No, that's the wrong one. That's also the wrong one. Cause I genuinely forgot what they fucking look like. Uh. Where the fuck? I'm literally finding every costume set except for the one I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. Um, if I was to choose, maybe Isabella. I'd probably go Tana. <clears throat> what about the circus squad? Amy, Fuck, definitely. That was like my least favorite one. Um, <laughs> actually, I, I'm the opposite. I think, too. I think that's my favorite one, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody looks damn good in the circus outfits. Yes. I, Super. I, Super. What did Liz look like? I'm trying to remember. She had that Liz. Uh, Liz. Uh, hmm. I know no, Isabel, Isabel had, had like the Isabel. Isabel's got that like lesbian look to her. Yeah, I remember Isabel's very so much. Amy had like a top hat on. Yes, I love that one. Uh, She's like the, the owner of the circus. Yeah. I don't remember Megumi at all, and I don't remember I Liz. Love Megumi's my favorite. I like the I like the like the hula hoop she has. I like her cute little pigtails. Oh yeah, I do. I knew the I knew the, that one by heart. Oh fuck. And Tana didn't get one, right? It was just Trophy Girls only. Uh, I can't remember no, honestly. I don't, think, I don't I don't think Tana got one because she got everything else. There. And then, and then you got the space pirates, which are kind of my least favorite. Of uh, the Liz is my favorite among those, probably. For the space pirates, um, yeah. maybe Amy. Didn't work out how I wanted it to. What the fuck? Oh! You're so fucking cute. Mm. 
I missed. I was waiting for it. I was like, bitch, I'm adorable. Yeah. Not in my house. <laughs> no, no, no. Motherfuck. <laughs> Oh fuck, I see that shit. Uh, oh fuck, I lost my orb. <laughs> Missiles suck. Oh hey. Another shield. Is in the diet. It's just. Uh. Humbug. Humbug. Ay, 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 ay. You know it would be really cool, like. Now I'm thinking of random things that is like too much to ask that would have made this game over the top. So, you know how in Medieval, right? For the PS4, you beat the game and then you get the PS1 version? Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> what if you beat the game 101%? Like, you get all the gold relics, right? You don't have to get platinum, you get all gold relics. You get CTR PS1 on your, yeah. like, available. That would be ridiculous. With online multiplayer? Yes. Take my yeah, money. That, that <laughs> one would that one would be a little too much to ask, but like I think it would be, would be pretty cool though. It'd be amazing. Take my fucking money at that point. <laughs> online PS1 CTR. I mean to be fair, if we're waiting for that native PC port. I can't wait to see how that goes. Or at least how it's, uh, what it's gonna be like when it's finished. Yeah. Um, what else would be like too far fetched to ask for? I already said the whole adventure mode stuff. Um, a sequel. Um, a sequel would be nice. Yeah, it's too much to ask for, too. I feel like. It's not impossible for them to like make a racing game though. Like they have the, they really did really good. With the new yeah. art style too, be great. Yes, it would be fucking amazing. Yeah, put it in the Crash 4 art style, let's fucking go. You know what I would want is in a CTR Nitro Field 2? I would love it if they pulled a Nitro car and made brand new original characters. Ooh. For, like, bosses at the very least. Yeah, because the way I kind of imagine it, like, you could easily... You could easily use the uh, Quantum Mask and kind of correlate those as items. Like, yeah. if you want if you want to slow down time, you could use Kapunawa. Yeah. Um, Ooh, face... Hold on, Wampa. And if you want to be... Ma if, I'm, if you want to be Mavericks... You can take from the canceled racing game and give characters special moves. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Oh, you know what? They don't have to think hard on like doing stuff with the quantum mask. You don't even think about it. Just think of shit from uh, what's it Which? called? Crash Team Rumble. Because I'm thinking oh, of stuff that they could do with Ika Ika. You fucking like tried. I'm like, yeah, whenever you, like, like jump in the air and you slam on the ground, or whenever you jump and slam on the ground or whatever, um, you can cause, uh, like, an earthquake. Uh, <laughs> hi. Fuck, I missed. <laughs> hi. Fuck. Nah. Gross. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> I got the golden one, but that's all I care about. Missed. I didn't miss. The missiles just suck. Don't suck that bad. I hit Sean with it. Well, you're up in his fucking face. 
What the fuck? Guys, come on. No. No. <laughs> no. Damn, all right. Talk about cool. the no. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Revenge. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hey, hey German, look at the penguin. <laughs> it's funny, I'm hanging with the two guys that don't know if they're fucking animals. Bruh. That was ages ago. Oh my fuck. True that. Did you get docked into the water? No. Oh, that would have been awesome. My balls. Oh, whew. I, I grazed the top of that shit. Bruh, I heard that in your fucking... Mm. Oh, I missed. Oh shit! Oh! You missed! What the fuck even happened? Uh, <laughs> I was boosting, so you probably ran into me and got flattened. Oh, that's so gay. It sucks. It does. Thinking about making a poem about it. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Momentum. No way I'm going to be able to make it. i to get a ball bill. I'm just, I must no! get a weapon from a different game. Fucking seals. Damn. Well, I'm getting Guess a lot of these fucking sealed victories. your fate, huh? I, I, I want your card to run out of gas. <laughs> well, that <laughs> sucks. Guess I just passed the finish line. Uh, I'm proud no, of that one. No, the you. fucking beaker. I hate red beakers. They're fucking. Nice. I saw that too. Oh, I saw the beaker at least. I didn't do it. God, I swear the red beakers are a lot more bullshit than they were originally. Uh, I don't know. They're pretty bullshit in the original. Oh. Fuck. Dick. Fuck dick. Fuck dick. Fuck, Whatever gets you through the day. What's gonna get me through the day? Mm. Oh my god, how do I stop this thing? <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. Let's go to you. Ooh, I like that. for like two hours yeah i was gonna say i've been there no. for like two more races this not quite it's only been an hour and 45 minutes you've been recording or something yeah oh okay yeah standard see that that that's the thing i was talking about back at sewer speedway oh you, you you your quote was the things you do when you're not being recorded 
Oh. Dun, dun, that makes dun, a lot more dun, sense dun, now. <laughs> and the last horse crossed the finish line. That's me. Hi. <laughs> I mean, you didn't, you didn't see it, though, so it's not fully recorded. The audio mm. is. Yep. <clears throat> Hasn't even felt like it's been that long, though. No. God, I do miss point doing sessions of this game. Yep. Yeah, your mom's a fucking armadillo. Damn. It's mean. Alright, Jeremy, it's your turn to get hit. <laughs> yes. Try again! I heard you like bombs. You heard wrong. You can't say bomb oh! on an airplane. You bitch. <laughs> I saw that too, fucker. Oh my fuck! <laughs> Good job. Uh, thank you. Oh, fuck me. The first uh, up is wait. mine. The first up is mine. <laughs> the race is mine. Oh, the race is mine. The trophy's mine! Bada bing, bada bow. Take that, Ripper Row. I don't know. It's not even Ripper Row, it's Ripper Row. Ripper 1 9. Here comes <laughs> yeah. Rubber Ducky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Forgot about them. It's the most random bullshit quotes. Yes, yes, yes! Look at this mess. Yes. That was a bad decision. And I really, I really just want to know how their reactions were in the recording booth when they were saying these. You want me to say what now? <laughs> Breaker Look. one nine. Here comes Rubber Ducky. You that nitro cart? I landed on it. That felt like just mean. <laughs> I was kind of I mean, just getting rid of it. Yeah, I, I mean, like I, I, I didn't, it didn't damage. Well, it, I did hit it, but I didn't. Oh, what the fuck hit me in the air? I don't know. What was me? That was. <laughs> oh, you think you're fucking adorable, aren't you? I'm, I'm super adorable. Oh, that's skin, you're not. You're badass, not adorable. What? To be fair, that's ass. Uh, you're right. You're right. Oh, fuck. Tight turn right there. You remember when you remember in Nitro Car where the blue shield actually still went away after a while? Yeah, the show was stupid. You also <laughs> couldn't throw it. Yeah, good times. I guess. Yeah, the items were kind of garbage. Um, I mean, I don't know. There was the little ice power up that was okay. And then there was the little electric thing that was basically just a potion. No, fuck. Oh, I almost jumped over that nitro crate. Damn. Big coin energy. God. Maybe I should go back and play the Switch version just to unlock shit. Honestly, I had most of the game unlocks on that one. Yeah. 
it's kind of an empty feeling when you play these multiplayer sessions and you're like, damn, I can't use this money for anything. It is a big empty feeling because, like, I still have some things in the shop that I need to buy, but it's, it's they're just tires. <laughs> I still have a bunch I need to buy, so this is this is nice at least. Yeah, I still have a long way to go. I mean, but to be fair though, it's like most games though. Whenever you like completely beat the game and you've unlocked everything, there's still shit to unlock. Technically, like you have to pretty much get all the characters' like outfits and shit. <laughs> Let me see who's a character I never fucking pick. Come here, engine. You don't pick engine? Come here, Thickums. Come here, Thickums. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I did just complete the adventure mode with him, but that was because I was like, I'd never use engine. Hmm. Um... This is my race. Then I'm gonna go sleep. Uh, All right. by me. To be fair, it is it is late as fuck. Yeah, I can't wait to sleep in before I have to go to work <laughs> the next day. I am happy I don't have to work for the next few days. I am ready to just not be at work for a while. Hell. Even even if I was working, <laughs> I could probably still wake up like an hour before I have to go in. <laughs> I can't the joy that. of, I, feel I mean, better. I don't. I feel better just waking up and going to work. Really personally. interesting. I, yeah. I like having time. I don't because if I get too comfortable, I'm like, I don't have to go to work. I I like it because I can do a few things beforehand, and I can also eat like breakfast and like get ready and not feel like I'm rushed. Yeah. It's breakfast. like all right, cool. I can do I can do a few things before I go to work. And then breakfast I can spend my time when I get back home. The real breakfast is not eating. That's horrifying. That's called starvation. No, not really. As long as you eat your dinner. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, motherfuck. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Okay, good. Yeah, yep, yeah, third place is nice. Let's, I love, <laughs> I, I love Boom yeah. Brown trophies. <laughs> Jesus. I love having my trophies like look like shit stains. It's fine. God damn. All right. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Well, third place does look good on you. Yeah, it's gonna look even better if I can finish the fucking track. Yeah, I'm not going to bed on that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> One more. Did you not finish? Oh, I finished. Oh, okay. I couldn't make that yeah. fucking shortcut for shit, though. <laughs> I, I saw I, you I, my ass. I saw, somebody dropped a TNT on me. That's why I couldn't take the shortcut the first time. Oh, that was me. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> to be fair, you fucked up a few times. What goes around comes around. Yeah, I don't believe in stereotypes. I, you know what? Sure. <laughs> sure. So Morris. Yeah. All right. Well, Morris. And then I'm gonna have to call it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm starting to feel it. Yeah. 
I'll do one more. God, I miss this though. Yeah. Feels nice. I... No, you really, you really had a good point where, like, with the three of us, it's great because we're all basically around the same skill level. Yeah. Uh, who's gonna be the last character? I, I have. Yeah, we'll go with you. Yeah. Actually, let's go with, uh... Nah, I could paint her skin. There are so many different random fights in the last DLC for Dragon Z Kakarot. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess they kind of want to make it worth your while because the DLC story-wise is not that much. Well, it makes sense, yeah. 100%. So they just want to make it feel worth it. I'm looking at it, and the most that there is is like, so far I've seen, uh, let me see, I saw Goku fighting Goten and Trunks, uh, there's DLC where you literally refight every single main bad guy. The Goku versus Vegeta fight goes fucking ham. I'd have to look that up. Is, is it an original fight? Yeah, it's literally the last fight of Kakarot. Okay, that's cool. I mean, actually, no. If you do the fight with Oob, that's <laughs> like they show the credits then. Yeah. What the fuck? We're all <laughs> playing Dingle Dial. Yeah, On Dragon our favorite, Lines. <laughs> our favorite Dingle Dials that we talked about earlier. Foreshadowing, True. if you will. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's cool though. It's like closure the series didn't really get. I think yeah, John no. mentioned that though. Yeah, no, literally in the fight, Goku goes Super Saiyan 3 and Vegeta goes like full power Super Saiyan 2, which apparently is strong enough to compete against Super Saiyan 3. It's just slow as shit. I mean I mean here's the thing. The thing is is that like I always thought Vegeta that was like mastered Super Saiyan 2. And while, and I believe Goku is not even close to mastering Super Saiyan 3, in my opinion. So He's I think not, I a, don't think he ever got to that. Nah. Because he got new forms. Yeah. So, like, Super I feel Saiyan like... Takes him a I feel like, like, I'm mastered Super Saiyan 2, and plus Super Saiyan 3 drains a lot of energy over time. So I think if Vegeta fought smartly, I think uh, he could have beaten Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yeah, no, like, literally, I do agree. Like, because the way, when Vegeta powers up, like, he's in Super Saiyan 2, but then he goes, it looks like he's about to go beyond that, but he doesn't. And Goku's literally looking at him like, holy shit, he's strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice, because they totally could have copped down and just gave Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 just for shits and tickles. I really thought that was going to be what happened too, because we haven't seen anything Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta related since Raging Blast. Was that the only game Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta was on? Fuck. Okay. Yes. I had to think the Budokai Tenkaichi games didn't do that, so that was the only one. And he was only a what if character. Yeah, because he yeah. never actually got the form. Okay, pal. I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> and well, I understand yeah, no. it. And I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like it. You should stop. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, don't. You're gonna pass me, I'm sure. You're gonna get something. I'm just like, preparing for it. Oh my god, these fucking beakers. Oh, fuck yes! <laughs> fuck! Those fucking beakers terrified me. 
<laughs> they looked at me funny, and I didn't, wasn't gonna like it. You're blue! <laughs> yeah, well, you're blue! Alright, all of you can just go straight to hell. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, who's gonna make Raccoon? Goku will. Soon. Well, time Goku. to spend my money on nothing. Well, you got three Damn. tires left, right? Yeah, I think I can at least get one. I probably I don't even know how much we've got. There's so much delicious. <laughs> this is a screenshot right here. Dang. I'm out of here. Let's see. I 